Now I'm out here on Hope Avenue with the lovely Bowie, who's just had six lovely little puppies. And what we're gonna to do today is I'm gonna introduce you to those puppies. And I'm also gonna take you around all the dogs that we have here at Happy Doggo Land. It's a crazy time at the moment. We were kind of quiet. We had about 10, 12 dogs and we've jumped up to 22 dogs all of a sudden. Um, but I'm gonna introduce you to some of those today. Uh, there's all sorts of craziness going on here. Um, Bowie has just had her puppies. She's coming in with me. She's had a little break um, from the puppies. She likes going for a little walk, me and her, because it's really hard being a mum, but you're gonna love meeting the puppies. They're only four days old. But we've also had a couple of dogs with amputations. I've been moving dogs around today, uh, introducing them to each other, making new friends. I wanna talk you through that, which is quite a, Stressful, complicated process, matching dogs up. They can't all just be friends, unfortunately. But the highlight is definitely gonna be beating uh, Bowie's little puppy. So down Hope Avenue, the first place I'm gonna take you now is to show you a big gang of uh, dogs I've just introduced who are hopefully all still friends. I call them the soft gang. Now I've come up here to see the soft dogs. What do I mean by the soft dogs? Couldn't be more obvious, really. It's the dogs who are all very gentle and we've put them in together. So there's six dogs in here. Um, I've got a little candy here. Ooh, if I lift her up, she's getting bigger. She's getting bigger, but she's only got three legs. Um, so it's obviously very hard to mix and match dogs. Like they don't all get on just like humans. And unfortunately when dogs, they are street dogs, uh, all of these who've come in here and street dogs do definitely fight. So I've also got the lovely Coco Chanel, uh, in here she's a real softy and then we've got the tiny little uh, faith and phoenix are in here as well so we've just matched this group up today six of them and so far so good so we had somebody sit with them for the first hour to make sure there was no fights and then we'll keep a, an eye on them all day you can see lovely coco chanel there she actually had some really horrible um i'll put the video in some slashes on her legs so she's recovering she's vulnerable these are all dogs who we don't think would fight with each other. They're just too soft, i.e. the soft gang. And they'll look after each other. So there's no there's no alpha male in here. Uh, the only one who's in here is little uh, Phoenix. Faith, Phoenix, sorry, Phoenix, the little tiny one. Um, size is a big uh, factor. We don't want big dogs with small dogs. We don't want sterilized dogs with unsterilized dogs. Um, so there would be puppies. There's a lot of things to consider. So these six dogs, it took us a long time to match them up, but now that they're all in here, I'm very happy with them. You can see down the end here, I'll go and see the two little troublemakers. Hello, you two. <laughs> they absolutely love it in here. They've all been getting on really well, making new friendships. It's like the first day in school. Uh, Phoenix and Faith are doing really, really well. We're trying to see who, who will be the big boss. I think the big boss, surprisingly, will be, I would say, little Marshmallow. Um, she is... Uh, not a big boss in any sense of the word, but she's probably the leader of the pack. She's just sort of sussing the place out. She's trying to see where she can assert her dominance, but having a leader is a good thing. So six very happy dogs in here, new friends, first day of school. Now we're going to go and see a couple of the injured dogs. So Leo Messi is uh, recovering from his operation. It's all go here. My mum's feeding. You'll meet these puppies in a second. But one thing that would help us massively is if you just hit the subscribe button on this video. It really does help us save even more dogs uh, than we already are. So a like, a subscribe or a comment would be massively appreciated. Now up here at the kennels, it's the hottest part of the day. So the dogs are inside um, a selection of them where we don't have space for them to mingle because there's no sort of groupings for them and they're sick. So I'm gonna take you through a few. They might be noisy at this stage. When you come along first, the dogs are very noisy. So let's see Lionel Messi. Hello, Mr. Messi. He's uh, his straight, straight out to greet me. His paw is healing up absolutely beautiful um, and he's doing really well, but he just has to stay in on his own because he's on short walks at the moment. So he only goes out about four or five times a day for little short walks and he's mad to go on one now. He's mad to go on one. So this is what I mean. It's, yes, 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 yes. I'm inside with the lovely Lionel Messi. You can see that his leg is a stump. Uh, he got his uh, amputation and it's been a big success. But Leo Messi is inside in one of these kennels and the reason for that is because he just has really short walks. They're about 50 meters long. Uh, he's too tired. His other leg gets tired. His blood levels are still low. So he can't go into a play area. It, it's really frustrating for him 
because he would love to be running around with the girls or running around with Rusty and we could introduce him to friends but for his own sake he just needs to recover in here for probably about another two weeks and then we take him out for about four or five walks every day but short sharp walks rather than anything long because he's just he's just had a leg you know amputated so that's another conundrum is placing dogs that are sick uh, in individual kennels. You've got to sort of tailor every bit of looking after and visit them quite a, quite often on a daily basis. Let's go and see Mr. Anthony Hopkins next. He's looking unbelievably good. Mr. Anthony Hopkins just beside me. He's in his own kennel. His body's very tired, so he's recovering in here. But as you can see, he's looking absolutely unbelievable. I don't want to stress him out too much because him and Billy are... Um, neighbors and they both want to go for a walk but it's too hot so that's another thing that we have to balance I've come along here to make this video during the hottest part of the day and they can all hear me now and they're suddenly thinking oh my god we want to go for a walk we want to go for a walk but as you can see hottest part of the day 12 o'clock sun is splitting the sky not a good time for taking the dogs out if you think in your own country the summer is hot here comes the biggest troublemaker of all look the biggest troublemaker of all Super Mario Super Mario. <laughs> now the one dog who's probably unfairly treated at the moment is poor old Prince. We're gonna go and see him now. He's on his own in a small play area. And the reason he's down there is multifaceted really. Um, he's not sterilized. The reason he's not sterilized is because he's on medication. And that's a big problem that we have. Some of the dogs on medication, we cannot do operations on. We cannot sterilize them. So they're effectively in a waiting uh, process at the moment and it's the same with all the dogs that you'll see that are going for adoption so Rusty, Sandy, uh, Phoenix, Faith, those type of dogs have to wait about three or four months uh, before they can go uh, to travel because they got to get their papers ready, they got to get their vaccines, they got to get their flights, all that sort of stuff. So it's there's a mixture of sick dogs here and dogs who are waiting for things to happen like flights and procedures but let's go see Prince because he could do with a bit of company right now. Now I'm with lovely Mr. Prince and he is down in what we call the small play area. A few things to tell you about Prince. Um, number one is that he might be suspect number one for a couple of the puppies. We don't know if him and um, Bowie are related. I would have always said sister and brother but I mean they could just be from different uh, breeds. Really hard to tell but um, oh hello Mr. The reason unfortunately Prince is on his own um, and it's complicated but He's a male, he's unsterilized, so he wouldn't work with the group of soft dogs. So he definitely wouldn't work with them. He wouldn't work with Rusty and Sandy because they're both boys. So you don't want to put like three dogs together that, you know, are all males. That's probably not a good combination. He's not good around the puppies because they're too small. So, you know, even though one of them might be his, uh, we don't want to put him in with the puppies. And then we don't want to, we've got the other sick dogs who are meeting in a second. We don't want to put him in with, you know, Lionel Messi who's lost his leg or um, Billy who's got bad eyesight that would freak him out a husky or we don't want to put him in with Anthony Hopkins who's still too sick and recovering and he just likes his own space so Princey as we call him has got the whole of the little small play area so he's a lucky boy what we would ideally like for him is an unsterilized female R sorry an already sterilized female so we want somebody who's been sterilized definitely um to live in here with princey but it's it's like a, a game of sort of chess you gotta figure out who goes where um a game of tetris i would say more likely but princey's in here on his own lots of other dogs to see but mr prince his own play area, he's happy down here, but a bit lonely. He could do with a friend, but we'll sort that out pretty soon. Better than the streets, Princey, isn't it? Now, this is quite a hard one to film because I don't want to scare her too much, but this girl came in this morning. Um, and when I say 22 dogs, we had 21 and we were already capped out. But you had to just, you know, you can't say no to this. She's got a really bad, um, broken type fractured leg, really, really thin. Uh, the leg is sideways. We're going to have to get her to the x-ray. She's just she's just resting in here. Apparently it's been like that for three or four months. I mean, look at that. Look at the angle on that. Um, horrific. So there's 10 of these every day. You know, that's the problem. Which ones do you say yes to? Which ones do you say no to? Um, anyway, I don't want to stress her out. I'm just leaving her here until we get the, the vet appointment sorted. Good food, good painkillers. And uh, that's dog 22. Now, looking after the dogs is fantastic. And 
you can see that you know we obviously have lots of play areas and stuff here at Happy Doggerland, but sometimes you just have to end up uh, putting the dogs wherever is best suited. So with the puppies, who I'm going to go in and see now, they're actually in one of the containers with Mum. So we're going to jump into the container and we're going to see Mum and we're going to see the puppies. The reason they're in here, I would say, is predominantly twofold. One is um, the weather. So there's mum. One is the weather and the second reason is threats from animals like snakes and uh, little animals like that that could be a threat to the puppy. So we decided to, we've got the aircon on a sort of a, a low to medium setting, or sorry, a high to medium setting. Here's the puppies, look at that. They're so small. They're actually pretty much doubled in size I would say already to be honest. Um, but it's just too dangerous for the puppies to be outside. Obviously, street dogs have puppies outside all the time, and that's um, great, but they don't all survive. Genuinely, I would say would be lucky if maybe 30% of the puppies survived. Because of all those threats, this, this one looks exactly like mom, doesn't she? Doesn't she? Oh, you're a good girl. Mom likes checking in on them. Me and her have been on joint shifts for the past week. She had the puppies at about four o'clock in the morning. Um, and it was her first time, uh, but she's done really, really well. We're very, very proud of her. Um, but yes, the puppies just have so many dangers outside. So what we're doing is we're keeping them inside. Mom actually wants to take them outside. She wants to dig a hole and live with them in there. But we've just decided that for the foreseeable future, until about two or three more days, they're gonna stay in here. She's got air con, she's got food, she's got water. You don't want it too cold, you don't want it too hot, but they're safe and that's really, really important. So it's a it's a really nice place for mom to have her puppies. I'm gonna turn around and show you, there they are. That's the puppy setup. So she's safe in here. She's got her, her little, uh, what would you call that, a bath. Uh, so the puppies can't wiggle free. She can feed them and then she can jump out. That's why we have her in there. She can jump out of the bath anytime and, and get a little bit of a rest. She loves coming for little walks with me, only about five minutes and then she'll come running back in here. So it's like a little sanctuary for her. But I just wanted to show you the madness really of um, what it's like having the dogs at a sanctuary. It's not just like, you know, 20 dogs and they're in, you know, they're all friends or they're all, you know, in their own happy area and you just leave them at it. It really does take a lot of diplomacy, a lot of solutions like just having them indoors. I mean, the thing I'm most worried about at the moment and paranoid about is the air conditioning. It's never failed, but I'm like, what happens if she's in here and it's, it's quite hot at the moment and the air conditioning fails? Or what happens if, oh, there's just a million things that you worry about. But mom and the puppies all very happy, very safe. And in about two days, we'll take them outside. I hope this video gave you a bit of an insight into what we do with, uh, with the dogs here. There's there's a lot of dogs to move around and a lot of dogs to look after, but at the end of the day, happy doggo land, 22 dogs, all happy, safe, getting operations, had operations, growing, going to homes, everything is good. If you like the video, a subscribe would be massively appreciated, um, or a like, or a comment, or any of those things. So thank you very much.